anyone can experience distress. Episodes of depression, relationship breakdowns, bereavement, financial problems. They can affect everyone. And the chances are, if you're distressed and desperately seeking help, you could turn to frontline services like your GP, local A&E department, or the police for help. But are these services the best place for people to go? Well, in 2016, the Scottish Government launched a programme to test a new way to support people in distress. It's called a Distress Brief Intervention. But how does it work? Well, my name is Robin and I work for the mental health charity Penumbra. We were chosen to pilot DBI in Aberdeen. The project launched at the end of last year, so I've travelled up to the Granite City to find out how it works from the people involved. The DBI programme starts here, with frontline staff like paramedics, the police and GPs like Alistair. I'm Dr Alistair Jimison, I'm a GP at the Concord and Cove uh, Medical Centre. Could you tell me a little bit more about DBI? Uh, as frontline health professionals, uh, primary care is the first point of contact in many situations for people um, experiencing acute emotional distress and crisis. Giving a particular example uh, was a young lady who presented to me uh, in crisis following separation uh, from her partner. Uh, this left her with significant challenges around finance, around housing, as well as her emotional distress from the um, uh, splitting of this relationship. Um, there was no ready solution to this within a 10-15 minute consultation but um, Distress Brief Intervention uh, allowed her to be able to look at some of these challenges. Uh, DBI is easy for the uh, general practitioner or practice nurse to, um, to link into. Very easy process of, of linkage to our partner provider of Distress Brief Intervention. Um, who will then contact the patient within 24 hours and offer a series of interventions over the forthcoming uh, fortnight and linkage into other services that uh, will hopefully help um, patients to get through the crisis and to see light at the end of the tunnel. So frontline staff like Alistair refer people in distress to DBI Level 2. In Aberdeen, this support is provided by James or one of his colleagues from Penumbra. So if somebody's been referred to us, then they've um, seen uh, somebody from a frontline service. So they might have presented to their GP, might have seen a member of Police Scotland, Scottish Ambulance Service, Accident and Emergency. Um, and after, after that, frontline services have, have referred them on, we'll make a point of responding to that person within 24 hours. Uh, and if they want to take us up on that support, they can then come in for a face-to-face -face appointment or we can speak to them over the phone if that's more appropriate to them. Uh, and that's when we begin 14 days of what we call intensive pro problem solving support where we're helping the person explore their situation, help them hopefully understand their distress a little bit better um, and then you know work with them to get through that period of distress. You know I, I, I've worked with a number of people now but off the top of my head I can think of two great examples of individuals who I've worked with. Uh, one of them accepted pretty much every day support for the whole 14 day, day period and um, the other one was probably about four or five sessions um, but both of those people when they first presented could not focus on anything except their their emotional distress one was really depressed one was incredibly anxious um, and at the end of that 14 day period not only did they rate their distress as a lot lower um, when we asked them the question if they felt that they'd be better able to manage future episodes of distress uh, they rated, I think that was about 10 out of 10 for both of those people. So they felt they had, were better able to manage yeah. crises in the future? Yeah, and that's hopefully the main thing for a longer term um, outcome for that person. But you know, if, if you're helping somebody through a period of stress, that's one thing. But if you're equipping them to be able to self-manage in future episodes, you know, what, what more could you ask from, from a distress or a crisis service? And people who have used the service say it has helped. The following comments, which are voiced by actors, were provided to the service as feedback. The best bit was knowing I have someone to talk to. 
who could help me find useful tools for coping. I feel I have gained emotional stability. My worker made me feel welcome, could give me sound advice, kept me calm and got through to me. And I have a lot of support up and running now. So DBI is about ensuring people in distress get the compassionate support they need at the right time from the right professionals. To find out more, go to www.dbi.scot.